Hi there for this week's version of Tech Tip Tuesday. I would like to show you a few gestures and quick tips to make using your new Apple iPad a bit easier. These tips will work on any Apple iOS device running operating system 7 and above. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is a few gestures. Gestures allow you to keep your hand on the device and um, use the home button less. So say you're in an app and you would like to quickly minimize that app, you can put all five fingers on the screen and pinch in. That's called a five finger grab. Now it doesn't close the app, what it does is minimize. To see the apps that you currently have running, but minimize, you're gonna put all four fingers on the screen and swipe up. This will allow you into a um, menu showing you the thumbnails of your currently running apps. You're gonna to wanna to go into this from time to time and close some apps because they do steal a little bit of your battery life. So let's say I wanna close Game Center here. I just put my finger on it and swipe up. I wanna close Photo Booth. I put my finger on it and swipe up, okay? To get out of this, I'm gonna hit on my home button. The next one I wanna show you is how to use the Spotlight tool. So you find your Spotlight tool, you put one finger anywhere on your home screen and swipe down. That brings a toolbar search menu across the top. And what you'll be searching is anything that's on that iPad, whether it be a file name, a message, an appointment, or an app. So let's say I wanna find my notes app. I can't figure out where I buried it. Oops. And I start typing notes. You'll see my notes app pops up. I can click on it right from the spotlight search and it will open my apps, um, app, my notes app, excuse me. Now I want to close it. I have all five fingers on here. I'm going to let it focus for a second. And there we go. Put all five fingers on it, pinch in, and it will close again. Okay, the next one I want to show you is the quick access to your notifications. So if you put one finger at the top of your screen and you swipe down, it will open your notifications menu. This will allow you quick access to your current appointments on your calendar. Um, you can set it up to show weather, uh, iMessages, um, updates for any of your apps, and anything that you missed from your FaceTime calls. To close it, simply swipe up. On the bottom of your screen, if you put your finger um, down there, just one finger and push up, you will get quick access to setting tools that are commonly used. Right here is the brightness tool. Keeping your brightness as low as possible is a good thing because it will save on your battery life. Um, you have access to Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth, do not disturb, um, airplane mode, and lock rotation across the top here. If you use an Apple TV in your home, your AirPlay button will be displayed right here. So I have AirPlay um, running at my house. If you do not have an Apple TV um, anywhere near you, this AirPlay button will not be visible. Over here you have your controls for music and for video, and also your volume controls. There are also volume controls on the side of your iPad. To close this menu, simply swipe down. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to make folders using your app. Um, when you get too many apps on your iPad, it can, can start to look a little cluttered and disorganized. So to help you with that, Apple has allowed for you to make folders with your apps. To make a folder, you put your finger on your apps and you hold it down until your apps all begin to jiggle. And then you can drag your apps anywhere you'd like to on your screen. So you could just organize them alphabetically if you wanted to. If I want to place this app over here instead, it will let me drop it there. Or if I would like to create a folder, I can drag one app over the top of another. Um, here I have one that's about photos and another one that's about photos. So if I drag them over the top of one another, I will get a new folder named photography. Apple looks for the profile of the app and names the folder based on the majority of the apps in the folder. But if you don't like that name, you can erase this and you can change it to something different. And I hit done. Now, if I decide later, you know what, I really didn't want those apps in that folder, I can click on the app folder, hold my finger now on the apps until they jiggle. Let it clear up here so you can see it better. 
sign, and then drag that app right back onto the folder. If I open the folder again and drag the other one out, my folder will disappear. Um, also, while your apps are jiggling, you'll notice any app that you download from the App Store will have a little X in the upper left-hand corner. None of the ones on my home screen have that because these are all the pre-installed permanent apps that Apple provides you. But anything that you download from the iTunes Store, you can delete. So if you say put an app on your iPad and then realize it's not what you wanted or um, it, it just doesn't have the features that you need, you can hold the apps down until they jiggle and then hit the X and that app is now permanently deleted from the iPad. If you permanently delete an app, it will delete all the data in the app. If you decide later you'd like that app back, you can just go to the iTunes store and download it again for free because you've already paid for it or it was free in the first place. But you will lose all of the data that goes along with it if you delete that app. The last thing I want to show you is that you can move apps down to your toolbar here for quick access. So to do that, Hold your finger on your apps until they jiggle and drag the apps that you want to have quick access to down here to your toolbar. If there are ones on your toolbar that you no longer would like down there, you can drag those out and place them on your home screen. I hope these tricks have been helpful to you today. If you have any questions about how to use your iPad, feel free to contact me.